Hey everyone, my name's James, and on today's episode of Music Biz, we're going to discuss paying for press coverage. Whether you're a solo artist or part of a group, you've probably noticed how difficult it is to get people to cover your music. Whether that means blogs, podcasts, YouTube channels, or even Spotify playlists, the competition is fierce and people's time is limited. Even if you have a really great song and a great image and a great brand, getting people to care enough about your music to actually promote it to other people is an uphill battle that is seemingly never ending. And even if you're able to hire a publicist, the likelihood that you're gonna get attention from a major outlet or a tastemaker in a position of influence is very low. And that's nothing to say about your music. It's not because you're not a good enough musician. You probably are entirely worthy of coverage. There's just too much content and no one has enough time to sift through it all. And there's already a ton of established artists and it's just chaos right now. No matter how hard the journey seems, no matter how many emails go unreturned and how many phone calls are never answered, Never, under any circumstances, should you pay for press coverage. Just don't do it across the board, no questions asked. Do not pay for press coverage. Now I know what you're thinking. You pay for everything in music. You pay for a bio, you pay for photos. Why shouldn't you pay for press coverage? After all, what's 25, 50, or even $100 if the website or person talking about you has enough influence to move the needle in your career? But let me tell you, from over a decade of experience in music journalism and even longer in the industry itself, I have never once encountered a person who charges for coverage that actually has the ability to move the needle for anyone. They may have 10,000 followers, but if they have 10,000 engaged followers, that's more than enough people to help them make a living on their own. They shouldn't have to charge you for coverage. By admitting that they need you to pay them to cover you, that's telling you that whatever inflated numbers they're giving you aren't real. And even if they are real, they're not engaged viewers. They're not people who are actually making decisions based on the content being offered to them. And therefore, it's not worth your time and money. All of the big outlets that you want to be covered by, whether that's Double XL or Rolling Stone or Alternative Press, or if you want the needle drop to give you a light six in one of his video reviews, none of those places are going to charge you for content. They aren't going to charge you to write about your band and tell people how good you are or how bad you are. They're just going to do it because they believe in what you're doing because they realize that their responsibility as a journalist or as a tastemaker is to curate a certain sound or a certain style of music for their audience. It's not to gouge bands for coverage that possibly won't receive any clicks. And if the biggest names in the business aren't charging people for coverage, then why would you ever think about paying somebody that most people have never heard of to talk about your band in a short blog post or in some video they post to their YouTube channel? It's just not worth it. The math doesn't add up. To be honest, I've been fighting the idea of making this video, but year after year, I see artists posting about paying for coverage. And sometimes I get emails from artists asking if they can be featured on this channel in exchange for money. I don't even ask them for it. They just assume that that's the norm, that you pay people to feature your band, but that's not how it works, or it's not how it's supposed to work, and it doesn't have to. Don't give in to these people. If the biggest outlets, if the most influential names don't ask for money, then you shouldn't be expected to pay these tiny outlets that nobody's ever heard of. You shouldn't be paying some so-called influencer to promote you to their 200 fans. That's not how this is supposed to work. Real tastemakers, real people in positions of influence, they make their money by curating a certain taste, a certain sound, and that shouldn't be something you can buy your way into. And if you want even more tips on surviving the music industry and hopefully saving a few cents along the way, click the subscribe button down below. Music Biz is dedicated to teaching people about the music industry. We have tips on how to understand it, how to navigate it, and what's happening in it right now. So please, take a few seconds and click that button. If you're promoting your music, I also recommend that you check out our sponsor. Holix.com is the industry standard for music promotion. Everyone from Chance the Rapper to Tool, Blink-182, Green Day, Weezer, Fall Out Boy, Panic at the Disco, even Hootie and the Blowfish promote their music through Holix. And you can do the same. Go to Holix.com today and sign up and you'll get your first month of service absolutely free. There's a link in the description below, but just visit. It's H-A-U-L-I-X.com. And if you do that, awesome. If you don't do that, that's okay too. The only thing I really ask of you is that you take care of yourself because you deserve it.